after another mass shooting, President Biden now calling to tighten gun laws. I don't need to wait another minute, let alone an hour, to take common sense steps that will save the lives in the future. Nullifying unconstitutional federal laws is both legal and it's also the right thing to do. It's clear as day that a lot of the gun laws that are being debated now would totally infringe the Second Amendment. It could be decades before the Supreme Court makes its mind up. It's silly to sit around and wait for something you know is unconstitutional. It's time to stand up and fight back. James Madison in Federalist 46, he told us what needs to be done by individuals, cities, and states to defeat federal programs without relying on the federal government to limit itself. He said specifically, a refusal to cooperate with officers of the union. This is how you defeat the feds, whether it's an unconstitutional act or if you just don't like the policy. I think the strategy is there, the strategy is known, it's just time to execute. Florida State Representative Anthony Sabatini is a co-sponsor of House Bill 1205, otherwise known as the Second Amendment Preservation Act. It prohibits any employee of the state of Florida from enforcing or attempting to enforce any federal act, law, executive order, administrative order, court order, rule, regulation, statute, or ordinance infringing on the right to keep and bear arms as ensured by the Second Amendment. If the bill passes, any state employee that assists in enforcing federal gun control laws would be permanently terminated. Defying federal law is something that the majority of states already do in one way or another, in the form of becoming immigration sanctuaries or through the legalization and decriminalization of marijuana and other drugs. Well, in terms of the method, it's identical. What you're doing is basically saying, we as a state are not going to do anything to assist in the enforcement of this unconstitutional law. So in that sense, the method's exactly the same. With marijuana, certain drug laws, basically they just stood down and they stopped cooperating. And what you saw with sanctuary cities was the same thing. They stopped reporting to and dealing with ICE, and that's basically what we're doing. Bolden says that the legal case for nullification doesn't depend on the constitutionality of a law that a state wants to nullify. Sabatini says the nullification bill he's sponsoring is popular among voters, which doesn't necessarily mean it's likely to pass. I know that at the grassroots level and throughout the state of Florida, this is one of the most popular bills filed in this session this year, if not the most popular bill. But you really never know what the chances are in the legislature. Localism is really the way forward for liberty. 